Yo, what's good, Granny Gang? It's Granny back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys all of my affordable pickups that I have for this pre-fall season. So in today's video, I'm about to show y'all a bunch of affordable items that I've gotten for this like pre-fall pickup season. This isn't like all the way the fall pickups, you feel me? This is gonna just be like the little joints I grab because I know fall is coming, you feel me? So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. There's actually a bunch of items. All of this stuff will either be like at or around $100 or below $100. And I'm telling you right now, actually, I think all of this stuff is under a hundred dollars if i'm being honest so um that's gonna be a haul for today it should be a dope one make sure you watch the entire video all the way through go subscribe if you haven't yet we did hit that hundred thousand mark you feel me so i'm pretty sure as one of these surprises for hitting a hundred thousand i'm going to do a hundred k q a so if you want to ask any questions make sure you go down in the comments right now ask me a question but other than that follow my instagram you know the instagram is lit we trying to run that joint up too we trying to dang near hit a hundred thousand on the gram too so go follow that um spam my pics and all that stuff but we are going to get straight into the video now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start off with pants because these pair of pants were actually in a previous video and i kid you not they were probably the most asked about thing on the video and it wasn't even about the pants so that's what i'm going to go ahead and start off with but i want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of the video which is Ben. So this first chunk of items will be from Minimal. Of course, you can use my code Grundy10 to get 10% off of your entire order. And all this stuff is already under $100. So we saving money around here, man. You feel me? But these joints right here are called the Tech Cargo Pants. And I have them in two colorways. I have them in the black and I have them in the khaki. Now, they both really like staples. But this black colorway is really, really clutch. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bruh. This joint right here goes with a lot of those like more tech outfits and even like summer outfits because they're really like lightweight material so you're obviously able to wear them when it gets hot and stuff like that and not be like drenched in sweat so you got these right here man the cool thing about them is they are adjustable so they have little like pull strings on both the knees and on the ankle so you can kind of adjust them however you would like but they are a very versatile pair of pants they do have these nice hardware details on both the back pockets and and the cargo pockets so overall a really techy well-made pair of pants and i believe they only gonna run you for about 58 dollars or so so you got the black pair and then you have this khaki pair which honestly even though the black is a staple i found myself wearing the khaki pair more often so these are super super dope they actually add like a nice contrast to a lot of different stuff so you really don't have to like match the material with your upper you can kind of like you know what i'm saying wear a different type of material on top of this and i feel like the black pair you really can't do that as much though you can it's really like a bit harder to like match the materials but these khaki pair go crazy um they are running out of some sizes so make sure you go ahead and check the links down in the description so you can hurry up and get you a pair moving on we got the d113 spider denim and honestly i seen these for a minute on the website and i was just like dang those are hard um they're right up my alley and i just hadn't grabbed them yet so now i was able to grab them and of course they are buttery so of course i'm going with size 32 you'll be able to see on b-roll how they fit and everything but obviously the biggest detail about these is the spider web stitching which you have on the top left side and the bottom right side so both of the webs are kind of different and they fit within the area that they're placed but definitely a hard detail and i feel like the wash that they used on these were perfect like this like kind of like faded wash in between kind of like brings out the pop of the spider web a little bit more because i feel like if it was just a black flat it probably wouldn't give the same effect so definitely a fire pair of denim finna be wearing them with all my like spooky type outfits you feel me so got those now moving on i got these d248 denims and honestly i was just experimenting a little bit i don't really know what i'm gonna wear with these just yet but i went ahead and grabbed them for the sake of grabbing them because i think they're dope you feel me so like sometimes i don't always know like what i'm about to pair with something but i'll just grab it because i'm like yo i can put that joint in the arsenal for when i want to bring them out but these have a bunch of patchworks on them and they're also like stone washed in this like bleach pink type of colorway so really really crazy pair of denims um they're definitely loud so if this is your cup of tea is gonna be perfect for you but yeah i for sure don't know what i'm about to wear with these yet but the details are really like soft 
for all of the patches. So I don't know, man, you'll see the details on the screen on the B row, but these are crazy. Next up, we have the V123 repair denim in this like baggier type of fit, which is, I feel like a little bit more rare for minimal. Usually they're like a slim straight fit. These are a little bit, they're kind of like a straight fit, but they're a little bit more baggy. But honestly, these are probably gonna be my personal favorite just because I like the repair denim and it's just like a double knee, except for just like repaired. So if you like things like Carhartt and stuff like that, I think this will be up your alley, but just the over stitching of it really just has like a cool feel to it. So they definitely have a lot of different details. They have this strap at the back, which I honestly just thought was cool personally, but they also have like some hardware in the front and stuff like that. But like overall, it's it's just the construction of the denim that really makes these and I don't really find too many good white pair of pants so this is a perfect pair right here moving on we have the Rick Owens inspired drop cross sweatpants and clearly you can see the inspiration but instead of paying like dang near the 800 to a thousand dollars you can go ahead and get these mugs for about 50 bucks i believe it's like 49 to be exact so you got these man and honestly if you just like to lounge around or you just want to have something that's a little bit more stylish when you pop out when you're trying to be cozy this is probably going to be the joints for you i got the tan colorway and honestly what makes it look really rick owens other than like the strings is like this waistband i think this waistband coloring was a cool effect to the pants but the overall control construction of them yo quality pair of sweatpants so no argument there this is gonna be one of my chilling joints for sure so now that we have the minimal bottoms out of the way we're gonna go ahead and move on to the tops that I got from minimal and this joint right here honestly is really really insane so this right here is called the safety trucker jacket and of course the name comes from all of these god dang safety pins that you got all over it so you have safety pins across the whole entire collar you have them all across the side of the sleeve you have them on the side of the jacket and you also have it at the bottom trim of the jacket so they went crazy with the safety pins and I feel like this is one of those simple details that you like dang I could have made that myself but at the same time you like bread as hard you feel me so I got this they also do have the matching pants which I didn't end up getting but I did pair this with a really cool outfit so if you want to see how this is styled specifically I did post an Instagram pic so make sure you go flood that mug especially if you've seen this because I know that if you go there and then you comment something I know you was from this video you feel me so comment a safety pin do they have a safety pin emoji I think they do right go if you see this and you go to my Instagram picture, comment a safety pin, and I know you gang for real, bro. You, I don't know. I'm going to start giving y'all something special, the ones that be commenting and stuff like that. But anyway, man, um, this jacket is really dope. The fitting on it is really nice. It has just an average trucker jacket fitting to it. So nothing like cropped or anything crazy or anything like that. So I got this in a size large. I'm about six foot, um, about 160, 170 pounds. So if that gives you an idea of what size to buy, there you go. Now moving on, we have this Oilers lightweight jacket. And this was like one of them joints that I seen maybe like a couple of months ago. I think they dropped this one along with another red jacket that does, it has something different on the back but um, I don't remember what it was. So this one I specifically remember being like, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And it says Oilers East Pasadena. And obviously I live in California and Pasadena is out here. So I don't know, I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, I just think the detailing on it is nice. It really looks kind of like vintage. So if you was never able to find something like this at like a thrift shop or something, this is gonna be an easy purchase for you. So moving on, we have this basic zip up hoodie in gray. And honestly, I'm just a sucker for a good basic zip up hoodie. So so I went ahead and grabbed this one and when I tell you this literally looks like one of them vintage hoodies that you can find from like either like a good curated vintage shop or just one of them joints you just happen to luck up on you feel me so I went ahead and scooped this and honestly bro like I'm probably gonna wear it so much like this is really really a staple especially when it comes to hoodies like this and the price on it is fire you feel me and lastly for the pickups we have this terry cargo shirt in like this maroon color and honestly just another basic staple that i just picked up because when you have all of your basic stuff it really makes it easy to pair a lot of outfits so went ahead and picked this up it does fit pretty oversized so i would say if you would like something a little bit more shorter you might be able to go a size down but i went ahead and went with my true size large and you'll be able to see how it fits so um that's that on that and that is 
since all of the pickups were minimal, we're gonna go ahead and move on to some other ones. So these next two pieces I got from the Copping Zone, but you know the Copping Zone is like its own retailer, so it carries different brands. And this one specifically is by Steep C. So this is pretty much just a button up shirt with a graphic on the front. Now, this really gives me like off-white vibes and obviously you can tell like it kind of feels inspired by that, but definitely a dope shirt. It's like white with like this smudge like gray throughout it. So it kind of has a cool like industrial look, but I feel like it's fire. I went ahead and went with my true size large and it fits a bit oversized, but I feel like I really enjoy the fitting of this. Like I, I feel like if you just go your true to size and you get that oversized look, it's gonna really work out for you. So boom, got that. And then I got these flared pants right here, which is actually by the Copping Zone brand. So these are really, really fire. I will say though that the way they do their sizing on pants and stuff, you can almost size up each time because like they fit generally small. So these is like my, I think, no, I think I went to size up with these actually. Okay, so no, I went with a size large, but I think like mediums or something is a 30 32 but like I went up a size and got the large and they still fit they they fit right proportionally but like it's kind of like tight around like the thigh hip area you guys will kind of be able to see on screen but um overall like the pants are fire though like gray flares bro crazy now moving on we have like this puma portion of the video now we all know that like puma is a top tier brand so everybody knows about it but they're generally pretty like affordable or at least under a hundred dollars so this right here is actually from the puma times ruigi collection and as you can see it's pretty inspired by ruigi himself so if you are a fan of the brand rude this is probably going to be like the perfect collaboration for you and the materials on this button up shirt is really really nice so it really feels like one of those like bowling type shirts with like the contrast of the black on the collar and the sleeves and whatnot but overall like i'm telling you like the materials is like a blend of like cotton nylon and like elastic it's, it's really fire bro i'm telling you so this shirt is for sure buttery fitting on it is perfect i usually go a medium in like button up shirts like this so i went with a medium in this joint and it fits perfectly so then you got the puma ruigi shorts so these right here is for sure like one of them end of summer joints Cause you like you know it's still gonna be hot sometimes so you gotta throw some shorts in there you feel me but these are crazy bro like these are dang near actually nah they swim trunks you feel me you got the little netting in the inside so yo these are flyest swim trunks i ever had so <laughs> these are crazy and then next up we're gonna go ahead and move into shoes and i got three pairs of the same shoe but they are different colorways so i did get the classic puma suede and they're like the new and improved edition for the year but i got the black pair which i already have a pair of black puma suede but i feel like these are supposed to be a bit different i haven't looked at the other ones to see what the difference is but classic puma suede bro so you already know what the deal is on that i also got them in the midnight blue colorway and the red colorway so obviously you'll be able to see b-roll of the two but i think my favorite joints is the red you know what i'm saying so the red definitely finna hit with a fit pick but you gotta have like all the colorways to kind of just like mellow them out you feel me like you can't just wear the red joints every day you know what i'm saying so you might have to throw some midnights or some blacks in there but those are the pumas and i think these retail for like 90 bucks so under 100 dollars for sure and then lastly for the haul i did want to go ahead and throw in these glasses that i got from paxson now i did show them in the last vlog that i just uploaded but very very briefly you didn't actually get to see them in detail but i feel like the structure on these is fire as far as design i will say they are only 15 bucks so don't be expecting like any really heavy plastics or glass or anything like that from these but if you're looking for style other than like what the quality of the material is i feel like these are definitely going to be fire and 15 bucks for an accessory bro like come on so went ahead and grabbed these in the brown colorway i also have them in the black and they are equally as fire even though i do favor the brown i feel like the black are just as fire you know what i'm saying so these are a good alternative to maybe like a louis vuitton billionaire glasses even though they're not quite as bulky but kind of the same like square structure and design you feel me so got those and that is pretty much it for the video but what i need you to do is hit that subscribe button if you're new because when i tell you the next haul is gonna be the designer haul you know i gotta i gotta go back to back 
with the affordable and the designer because I know some of y'all do like to spend money and you would like to see some of the expensive stuff before you purchase it yourself. So I do have that coming up soon, but that is pretty much it for the video. Appreciate y'all for watching. I will be back to you with more. Peace.